Hello, 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 ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Bull Rush. I am your host, as always, Mr. Shmugledorf. I am joined, as always, by Mr. To Wolfman on my left, who should actually be on my right, and Mr. Noirbot on my right, who actually should be on my left. Great work. We're just here to make things difficult. It's I know. It's always our fault. <laughs> I don't know why it can't be Shmoo's fault for once. There you go. Whatever. Good job of swapping yourselves around. That was totally you doing that, not me. I know. How are we doing today, guys? And Pretty good. Doing good. Yeah, it's a slow weekend. I made a pie. I, I saw that. That was a delicious looking pie. What kind of pie, though? It is an orange pie. It's pie flavor. Orange pie? <laughs> it's an orange pie. You heard me. That's my first pie I ever did. I have did. to come over there after this. I, I know. I, ex I expected you to. <laughs> That's going to happen. Because by the time we're done, it's going to be cooled down. It's going to be ready to eat. It's going to be delicious. That's going to be great. But I think to thank everybody for coming on by this week. And the best part about it is we've got news to talk about. It's not just like every other week where we have to like kind of make up things to talk about. We actually that's, have news. That's not true. We don't make things up. We just bullshit through stuff. No, we bull rush through stuff. <laughs> Stop. No. Um, We're revoking just, your pun license. Just stop. <laughs> Everybody do do a flop. Um, we've got some fantastic things to talk about. We've got the roadmap was finally posted by Mr. James Finney up on the main page for Gigantic right on their Gigantic blog. And in addition to that, we had the AMA following that up, which was quite the interesting, uh, <laughs> the interesting affair. Unfortunately, oh my god, I there was, were so many questions. I, I can't even. I was at even. work when it was happening. Like, I, I saw the beginning of it, I posted my question, and I closed the thing. I, d I just walked away at that point. I was like, I'll read it when it's done. I, I wanted still to, have it read off. <laughs> I wanted to read it actively so I could have a better, like, presence here on this it's show for once it. in my life. But it just it didn't happen. I was just like, there's so many questions. Dude, I'm you, in the, I'm in the, the middle of, like, 8 million things. You were half of the presence last week. You're the only one who's been there other than me for every single show. Mr. Noirbot over here can't talk. That's true. Yep. We're revoking his talking privileges. It's real. It's not happening. Oh, um, don't do that, please. <laughs> it'll just be me chatting the entire time. Uh, that's what it is usually anyway. Yeah, I'm, the, but, I'm the reason we get to an hour. It really, it really is that way. But... As stated in the lovely Road Ahead for Gigantic, they said a couple of weeks ago, Chris had shared the unfortunate news about the staffing changes at Motiga, and he liked to talk to us about things that are coming in the future. It was a very nicely worded, very, very strong, very solid, and being the wonderful thing that I am, I have Mr. Troy followed on Twitter, and I am almost 100% certain that not all of this was written by Fohammer at all, and was in fact actually mostly written by Troy. Yeah, I mean, or Evan. Or, no, no, it was funny because he was saying uh, Troy had set up uh, like the night before this went up. He's like, just practicing some wordsmithing skills for a pretty important post going up tomorrow on Go Gigantic site. And I'm like, is that supposed to be Faux Hammer doing that? Is that supposed to be James doing that? Guess I mean, it doesn't not. matter so long as someone did it. Fair enough. I, I don't think it's. I don't think it's important. Well, Just the fact the that things, it's there. Some of the things that were really nice to see were that they went ahead and did one major thing was they recognized everything that they had been going to or going, going through this past you know half year or full year even. Uh, when it comes to the development of Gigantic, one of the things that hasn't really been broadcast so much is just how much they've had to you know, really get used to the changes to the game for Xbox One. And kind yeah. of saying, you know what, we've had to get used to the new platform. We've had to get used to developing for Xbox One. And while that shouldn't take too long, but at the same time, these are a lot of developers who haven't done any real work on console. Most of all of them are PC developers. So, I, you know, that's really nice to see that they said, you know what, one of our main issues is getting used to Xbox One and getting the, the platform ready for it. And then in addition to that, they went ahead and said, you know, all of these wonderful things saying, you know, we had a great amount of time with our coaches over whiskey and beer in Boston, Cologne, Seattle, you know, saying that oh, there was a lot of really great stuff that was happening, but that now it's time for them to buckle down and say, you know what, we got to get to work. Yeah, and honestly, I think, you know, I absolutely don't want to take credit for this, but, like, this is pretty much, like, 
exactly what I wanted to see out of them oh, yeah. after the after two weeks ago, my my last show here. Like, well, and it's it's hard you know, to say it's, you know that anybody could take credit for it because honestly, oh yeah, no, they should have done, and you know anyone yeah. within the gaming community would say, yeah, no, we're doing that. That's a smart thing to do. I think it's like I you know I still think it came a little late, but you know this... better late than never. Because I mean it's it's kind of funny to see like a post that's like, hey guys, like we're. You know, we we realize that we're gonna have to push the release date into 2015. There's 10 days left in 2015. Like, I feel like you probably realized you weren't releasing it um, next there week. There are 12 days left. Thank you. <laughs> I mean, regardless, like, thank it's like, you. It's been, it's been pretty much clear to everyone that they weren't gonna release this year since like August. Like, it's just yeah. kind of it, it's it's kind of funny to be that, like, guys. Know? After a lot of thinking, we've decided we can't release it next week. It's like, no it's... shit, Sherlock. I mean, it's the funny thing is, is that you know, like you said back in August, but it was even before that. It was before even Pax Prime had happened that we were like, uh, so there are a lot of things missing here. When are we gonna get this release? It was, yeah. you know, when people were saying, hey, look, this is gonna. They were saying we're gonna release this with the launch of Windows 10, and then Windows 10 launched, and they're like, yeah, so about that. <laughs> that yeah. was not a thing not that happened. was gonna happen. Yeah, and it, it, it was like it wasn't even that though, like. There, there were there were times like before before Prime like even before even for East where things almost kind of went backwards because we felt like we lost party bit, systems. It was, it was actually just a little like, bit after East that we lost those party systems too. Yeah, it was a little bit after East. They were like, uh, yeah, so no to the party systems. That's not happening. But at the, for now at least. But you know that was when we were like, um, so when is that gonna happen? Yeah. You know, when is when is that launch gonna happen? And it was interesting to see, you know, nothing happening along that front saying, um, yeah, two thousand fifteen's fine, yeah, yeah. Um guys, it's November. Yeah. Well I I think kind of it, it, even now we're still in a position where, you know, they're saying like, yeah, like, you know, party systems and new maps and like all this crazy shit is coming out in the first patch of twenty sixteen, which like at their patch cadence could be like, I don't know, late February. <laughs> Or like, March. Well, I mean, like, I, you I'm, know, I, I'm thinking, I don't, I don't want to be like. Considering we also saw, and this was a forum post, uh, the forum post referring to the return of the Guardians Arena, they said that Guardians Arena would return with that new patch. Let me see if I can find that. Yeah, though, I mean, like. Yes. Which is, oh, is that yeah. what it said? Guardian, oh. Yeah, it was Guardian Arena on break until the next January. On break until January, and why you should be excited. And one of those things was uh, in there saying that Party System will come with a new year. Uh, next week, we'll be pushing a new build, they said. So, where's that build? I kind of want it now. Because that was back in December 10th when they said, oh, by the way, next week, we're pushing a new build for the beta. Where's the, where's that patch, guys? Yeah, but, yeah, and yet yeah, we're still, like, we're canceled out for, like, because we're, we're not seeing more testing until the no, new year, I, right? Okay, f I'm fine with that, though, you know? I'm fine well, with but I mean, like, the holidays, it, no one's going to be in the office to make sure it's fine. It's just funny that they're like, we're going to push a new build for the beta next week. Like, also, we're canceling beta testing for the next month. It's like, so you're going to push out the new build, but then not turn on the servers for a month. Like, oh, oh. Why? We'll see the build... so that we can download it and data mine it. I guess but, I don't know. But the, <laughs> but the build's Hashtag gonna come in whenever whenever it's ready to go. Like I mean, right oh, now, yeah. right now, I we don't know. They they could actually still be in the office right now, and maybe they're only gone they for the next week and right now. or um, like or two, just for the holiday stuff. And then like right as January comes in, they're just gonna be like, all right, let's go, let's do this. Promise. We have to fix yep. everything. Like. Boom, and then just press the big red button, and everything just goes to shit. Hopefully not, but that might be the case. Um, yeah, this is but kinda... every, everything will hopefully go smoothly, and I hope that the patch comes very soon because, according to this, like there's a lot of stuff that's gonna come in, and it's gonna be great. And yeah, this things, is a massive patch that's some coming things, up. Obviously, are things that we kind of wanted before, but or had before. But I'm glad to see them coming back, and they might even be coming back bigger and better, like the party system coming back. But some things that are also coming uh, coming in is the improved matchmaking algorithms 
which should help creating better balanced teams for solo queue and hopefully for party systems, because that was one big issue we had with the party system before, was yep. where you'd have all of the best players. And that was a little bit talked about in the AMAs, where you had a lot of the best players who all know each other, let's be honest, we all know each other pretty pretty well, we all hang out with each other. I don't know, I've, 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 I... I say, speak for yourself, the <laughs> Mr. Best Player in the group. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, I don't know, Wolfie's really good. But, uh... I was gonna say, I can, I can slam that. Never mind. Right. <laughs> I can slam the keyboard against the wall. Every bit as good as everybody else. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Hashtag All right. just trip things. Um, oh boy. Or mosey things actually. But uh, no, here's the thing: is there? We would all party up again with each other, you know? We would play on the same teams, we would play with all the same people, and one of the things that would happen is, every now and again, we would go ahead... Uh, yeah, no, it's totally intentional, 100%. <laughs> um, <laughs> I didn't even notice, guys, thank you for telling me that. I so said it on in. Skype before the show started, I was like, you misspelled it, and you just completely ignored it, I watched, whatever. Like, I watched the Skype. Um... <laughs> Oh, but God. that was one thing that would definitely happen is where uh, the best teams with the best players would party up with each other, and half the time they'd be playing up against other you know parties of guys who are all really good playing against each other. But the other half of the time we playing against people who would never like they're just playing as friends. They're like, oh yeah, this is my first day in the beta. Awesome. <laughs> That's Five how it was. Game later. That's how it was. Like, oh my goodness, just even like even when. Even when you were one party, like a group, and then you get into another, like against a group of that was another party, like that was even worse. Because even then, like those other players have been playing for a long time, and we're just like, yeah, let's group up and we'll 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 beat some idiot noobs, and like then we're the one that ends up being the idiot noobs. Yeah, well, it's oh, like God. I remember in the early alpha stages playing up against people like Soup and Fox. You know, in the first, the early alpha stages, me and Wolfie were like, "Oh yeah, we could beat these guys." So no, one twelve minute absolutely game later, no. <laughs> I don't do this anymore. No, I still wanted to play the game. I was just like, "Yeah, I'm not as good at this game as other people are right now." Amen. And to be fair, a lot of that, you know, kind of helps bring a lot of these people who are newer to the game but want to get competitive with it a little bit of a taste of where they need to get to, and it yep. helps you know, motivate them a little bit. But, of yep. course, one of the biggest problems, and speaking as a community coach, uh, all three of us speaking as community coaches know that it was one of the biggest concerns of Motiga that some of the newer players, first game of the day, would be playing against community coaches, get stomped, and never play again. Yeah. And, and I, th I think that was... That again. I Definitely. think that was an honest concern, and I, I, I really do agree with it, just because, like... The you problem is, is that turned into them nerfing Trip, so... Yeah, that's very true, too, and we've already gotten that we've, huge we've debate. That, debate. that was that was our first show. That was that was three that months ago. That wasn't just our first show. Let's be well, honest. Well, yeah, but it was it was mostly the that first show. That was the show. recurring topic. We had data come in. We had to open up still, the, discuss the discussion. Still, again. the point the point is that when you're when you're a player and you play a new game, you don't, don't want to just get thrashed. Like yeah. you want to actually play and feel like you have a chance, even though you don't exactly know how every single mechanic works. And I mean, like honestly, like that's that's something that's really hard to do for a game for a PvP only game. Well, no, it's really, not it's really. not even so much that. It's so much more that it's because there's such a small group of people actually testing the game right now. That's very true as yeah. well. Well, because really what it comes down to is, like, there, it's kind of a two-part problem. You've got a problem where the matchmaking is horrible, so you end up with just people, you know, you end up being like, here's, like, the, you know, the top 10% players in the game. Let's match them up against new people. It's like that. Like your any sort of MMR system should deal with that. Like exactly. Like we should. That should go away with some amount of actually having a balance system, which we know from experience we don't. Exactly, and that's secondary. The... But but like secondarily, Hopefully. like this is in so far in early beta. Like a, 
even calling this a beta is questionable. Like, this is still pretty much an alpha. We we've, just changed the we've name. We've also discussed that for several weeks. Yeah. But, like, the, the point being, like, <laughs> you, people are, like, logging on and expecting to be, like, I'm just going to play this as my, like, daily driver game. Yeah. And it's like, no, you, you, you're going to log on, you're going to get your butt handed to you, sometimes because you suck at the game, sometimes because the matchmaking is bad, and sometimes because, because the, the game, game is... is yeah, because, like, you're going to be walking along and, like, you, you know, try to, like, land a jump attack, hit a cactus, bounce off the cactus, and fly off the map. And it's like, sometimes that just happens. And, like, oh, exactly. that's... N yeah. <laughs> I like how you just compared this game to, like, a phone application. <laughs> like, you don't just log in and do your dailies and then just go away. Like, <laughs> Well, but I mean, like, you look, but like, other, awesome. you look but at other betas. And, but like, you're, you not, like... you're not wrong, though. Like, you're completely not wrong. Like, to play this game, like, you actually have to commit. To, like, if you want to be good at this game, you actually have to commit a lot of time to it. Because it's well, just that competitive. And, 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 and it's not actually even is, that. It's it, not there, even there's so a much... lot of stuff in it, too. It's not even so much to be good. Like, you think about, like, uh, you know, in the other game that came out beta recently is Paladins. And, like, Paladins is at a point where I can just, like, sit down at my computer and be like, I want to play a game of Paladins. Like, click two buttons, log in, hit queue up. In, like, ten seconds I get a queue pop. I hit join game, pick a character, play a game, win or lose, log off. You can't do that in Gigantic. Like, I, I can't reliably log in, get a balanced game that, like, is okay and like you know not to say that paladins is perfect like i get plenty of games where like, people don't understand how to play and just kind of run into a wall but you know like it's at yeah. least a game like but that happens in like dota 2 and that's been out for decades yeah well but and even to be fair obviously one big thing is that you can't log in every day so there's another problem there too but you know when it comes to <laughs> that is completely superfluous but thank you for yeah. saying that <laughs> But when it comes to Gigantic, there are gonna be, that's going to be something that we're going to have to deal with going into the future. And when we finally get more people playing, we'll see more and more fixes going into it. Because honestly, I feel like one of the main issues with the matchmaking right now is simply just because we don't have enough players in the matchmaking system. You know, one of the questions on the AMA was quoting a number of like 400 to 650 players. That's not enough on an average playtest to be able to get what you need. It's not enough. Well, it gets you something, right? Because like, I, I think that's the other thing is people are like... There's, there's so many things about Gigantic where just like the naming and like what we're calling things is wrong. And like for an alpha test, that's totally reasonable. Like if the common priority in your game right now is we need to figure out whether or not you can walk through walls and like whether or not these characters' abilities fire accurately. Or whether you know? or not the terrain disappears randomly. Yeah, or like whether or not, you know, like are there things where like the Guardian doesn't push or do you not load into games when you try it? Like you don't need like thousands and thousands and thousands of players to find out that like 30% of the games aren't loading. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a fair point, but really when we're talking specifically towards matchmaking errors being balanced against bad teams or good teams or ridiculously good teams you know is going to be something that'll take a hit from not having enough players into it simply because the matchmaking system is going to have to deal with you know what there's not enough good there's not enough players within this range of things so let's broaden the ranges more but well, you know again that is something that can be dealt with but honestly i feel like is better dealt with when there's more people playing I feel, there, there were a few. There was a specific question. I can't find it on the AMA. That that asked about like, do you think that the change to Windows Ten has like hindered your your uh, the amount of players that are coming in? And it's like, probably, but you know. honestly, I think that's less than I expected. Like, I have seen less people being like. Oh my god! I used to be able to play this on Windows Seven, and now I can't. Like, I that has yeah. actually been a much less of a like. Yeah, like you've well, got your maybe, occasional like salty person on Reddit being like, maybe "Oh my just god, I want to play Reddit it." Moderators are being awesome about that. Well, but I mean, like even in comments, like when people are talking about it in comments, like you'll see the occasional like, "You're killing the game by banning all the Windows Seven players." And yeah. It's like. Yeah, you see that occasionally, but it's, like, the same guy every, like, four or five, three. Like, there's probably, you know, there's not an enormous pool. It's not like they disenfranchised a ton of people, which, like, honestly, that was, that was an original worry of mine when they announced that. I was like, this is going to kind of kill the community, and it hasn't. Like, we yeah. didn't see it noticeable. Like, when we rolled from you, from, you know, being able to play on Windows 7 to only being able to play on Windows 10, there wasn't a noticeable drop-off in the number of active players. Yep. Do we know someone named Posey? That sounds like a name familiar from Dawngate. 
it does sound familiar from Dawn Gate. But yeah, on this, I like this question too. Uh, how do you feel the NDA has impacted the visibility of your game in the first half of 2015? And it's like Aether answered that question, and it's 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 really funny. Like I don't I don't know if I can like I don't I don't know if there's a way for me to like help you guys find this question. Yeah, it's uh, like number two or three on yeah. on the list. It, yeah, it's number two. It's number two on the list, right up at the top. Uh, he, Aether's saying that the NDA is an important tradition in gaming de de uh, development, and especially at a place like Motiga, where our developers iterate daily on Gigantic, introducing new ideas and experimental features that may not always end up being reflected in their final product. A non-disclosure agreement allows us to cover up some of the bigger mistakes. But, and this is I ironic so many times from every single Gigantic like developer, we yeah. all literally think the NDA is Satan. <laughs> we hate it with a burning passion. But I, ironically, some of the biggest miscommunications around the game came around the NDA. Like, yeah. I, I love that, like, for, for all of their talk of, like, we have the NDA in place to make sure that people don't get confused and, like, don't, like, do dumb stuff. Like, moving around the NDA actually caused more problems and confusion than having it in place every day. Yeah, it to totally did. Absolutely did. Like, if they had just straight up dropped the NDA, like, at some point over the summer, or even, like, if, if they had straight dropped the NDA when they were half dropping the NDA, we would have had so many less problems than we did. Yeah. But, or, if, I mean, I don't know, the whole game suffers from overexposure. Like, people are joined, people, the, the problem is people want to play Gigantic, and yeah, no one, want and, to play gigantic. The, well, the problem is people want to play it, not test it. Like, people are coming into it with the expectation that they can play the game, and you can't play the game. No one gets to play the game. The game is not playable. Yeah, that's that's a fair point to make, 100%. But, you know, going into that, obviously, going back to our original topic, uh, the major content changes that are going to be coming up should help with that. And my question on there was to see if we were going to be seeing returning of streaming uh, with the next patch, because it's saying, you know, hey, look, the next patch is going to have this, it's going to have that, it's going to have parties, it's going to have, you know, Xbox Live Arcade, it's going to be a Windows Universal application, it's going to have all these wonderful things. And while I did get an answer to the return saying, yes, there will be returning our streaming for Gigantic via the streaming initiative at some point. They did not answer saying, with the next beta build. Thank you, Troy. Spoken like a true politician. But, you know, and it's understandable, like, I, we've touted this before. A lot of the, the answer to the question saying the reason we have restrictions around what we can be shared right now is simply to provide cover for some of the big ticket future developments. And, being totally honest, I would have been perfectly fine if they never had tried to drop the NDA in the first place. Perfectly fine if it had just kept on going up to this point. I am 100% fine with that. But see, it's but, it's 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 it it's understandable, but at the same time, like, like this game is still changing, and that's that's why we keep saying that we all personally think that it's an alpha, and it's not even just us three; it's like most of the community. But like, like we can, and now we can read that. It's not even it's not even something that we can like say that we're breaking rules or something. Like it's here on the roadmap. What's next? Major changes to the way power is generated. Uh, as another map, uh, new summonable creatures, uh, new and improved visuals for the guardian, system. the guardian, like a progression. Like this game is still changing a lot. So like an NDA is completely understandable because you don't you don't want to bring in all these new players, and then like four or five months later, the entire game and how the whole power generation work just completely changes. Well, so it's, it's, fair, well, it's annoying. It's the only game to have done that, Cough Cough yeah. on Gate 2.0. You know? <laughs> well, I, I mean, I even, think... like, you could go even older than that. Like, League of Legends, like, it's still changing season a lot. Season, season 6 right now we're in, right? It's well, a 6 yeah, or 5. Well, yeah, but that's more of a tradition. It's season 6, but that's more of a tradition. The big one was back with Season 2, the big change between how turrets were. Before, turrets were there to defend you. The other, now it's the other way around. In Season 2, was you were there to defend the turret. So... Yeah, I, I think there's something to be said, though. Like, I, I think, you know, we're still in this weird limbo period where, like, I think they either need to reinstate the NDA completely or they need to just drop all... Because, like, I still think we're in a state where, like, 
the cat's out of the bag. Everyone's been talking about it. Just drop the whole thing and start treating it like something like Darkest Dungeon. Treat it like, you know, uh, Nuclear Throne. Like, treat it like any sort of, like, early access game where it's like, yeah, shit's broken. Deal with it. Because, like, everyone's already at a point with this game where they're accepting, like, shit's broken and we're dealing with it. Like, the cat, the cat is out of the bag that this game is not ready for prime time. So, like, no one's going to be surprised when shit doesn't work. And if you don't want to stream... Like, if you're an active streamer that streams every day and you don't want to spend, you know, and you don't want to be streaming a game that, like, breaks regularly, then that's your prerogative. Yeah, you don't have to stream it. Like, just because you're an active player of Gigantic or an active member of the Gigantic community, and you're, like, you don't have to stream it. Like, you can keep streaming whatever the hell you're normally, you would have been streaming if the NDA had been in place. Yeah. But, like, you know, some people are going to be interested in that. Some people are going to be like, well, I was already going to be playing it for five hours this afternoon. I might as well stream it. And, like, get let it, you know, if you're already going to be open about, like, publishing public patch notes for what all's going on, like, which is essentially where they are now. Like, if everyone could already read all the information, just go for it and treat it like it's an early access game. Now, to be fair... Yeah, why not? To be fair, I would 100% agree with you. If the next patch was coming a lot later than we're hoping it's going to come. If the next patch comes within the first couple of weeks of January, then, you know what, I'm fine with waiting until that point. Let's wait until that point. Well, I mean, there's no test. Comes in, let's go ahead and do it. Yeah, I, I, and I, I get that. But, like, what I'm saying is, like, if the next patch came and it had party system in it, it had all these wonderful things that they're saying in it, okay, fine. Drop it then. Be done with it. But if it wasn't coming for, like, the next couple of months and there were still play tests happening between that point, I'd be with you 100%. 100% drop it. There's no point in keeping it at this point. Well, I, th- I think either way, though. Like, I would, I would say drop it even with this new patch, right? Like, you know, there's... You're like well, drop like, the patch really is all well. Right. Drop drop the patch. <laughs> drop the patch. <laughs> like, <laughs> but, <laughs> like Motiga likes to be like we we're the most open and transparent studio and blah 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 blah. And it's like, well, sure, like you're open and transparent about like answering questions. Like you know, you're doing a pre development AMA. Like you know, yeah, you're relatively open about that kind of stuff. But it's just like okay, then like fucking commit to it and air out all your dirty laundry. Like. You know, if, if you're very public about it, and sure, you know, make it so there's, like, a featured streamer thing. And, like, go ask all your streamers to nicely be willing to caveat, like, hey, this is not finished game content. Like, you know, if shit breaks, <laughs> shit breaks. Like, deal I with it. I find it, I, I, I don't want to interrupt you, but I find it really funny right now that this is the state that we're at. When this is, like, literally what this show was supposed to be this entire time, where it was, like... <laughs> Where I'm on one end and Perry's on the other end and Shrew's in the middle and that's where we are right now. Like I'm like, no, you can keep the NDA, I don't mind. And Perry's just like, fuck the NDA and Shrew's just like, eh. <laughs> Like that's great. I think that's fantastic. Like I just don't see what purpose the NDA serves. Like it's such a like, it's, it's like, okay, so I can't like show you video of this gameplay. So all that does is shut down like anyone that wants to do video footage. But it's not like people aren't getting information. Like there's like posts on Reddit and posts on Twitter about like, oh god, the matchmaking's still horrible. Or, hey, look at this, you know, new character, this new map. Like they're really cool. Like I'm going to like write an article explaining it to you since I can't just put a picture. Like. Yeah. It's not like it's stopping any information from getting out, so just stop having a pretense that people are, you know, like, they're not showing pictures. Like, if anything, the graphics and art assets are the only polished part of the game right now. Like, yeah. if anything, the visuals are the part that, like, keep, makes the game, like, have any hope of still, like, being good. Fair enough. Fair enough. Like, uh, you're literally hiding the only part anyone likes right now. And, and that's all a fair point, but realistically... They're going to do whatever they want to do, and this is also, of course, a topic we've had many times before. Uh, but let's talk a little bit about the way that they're saying major changes to the way power is generated. Do you think that's a good idea to have such a major change to the game at this point in the stage of development? It's, it's hard to tell because we don't know what the new system is going to be. It just says it's changing. Well, and they like, said they we fo- focus the game on more active play by rewarding more power from kills and a new power orb mechanic and less on passive factors like power generation from creatures. And, I mean, speaking as someone who played in the GA, the tournament, where we've been dealing with, you know, a majority of our strategies surround, okay, passive power generation. Let's kill this creature so they have less of it than us. That, to me, 
to not have to worry about that, well, A, it completely changes the entire style of how we're going to have to deal with strategy from this point on, feels better, because then half the game is going to be just trying to hold on to our power, our passive power lead for as long as humanly possible. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, so much of this is going to, like, so much of this is going to depend on the exact implementation, and, like, I, I think it could work out well. I think they have to mess with the systems. I really do. Like, yeah. everything I'm hearing, and, like, just from ha having watched games, having, like, you know, heard from people, like, seen this and that, like, the game needs to be spiced up a bit. Like, it's just... It needs something, and like messing with the power system, I think is the biggest thing that can be done right now. And I'm totally okay with it. Like I, I think. Yeah. Again, we're well, so we're, we're so of, early, we can mess with it. They were kind yeah. of hinting. I can't remember where I saw this. I want to say it was somewhere in the AMA, but also possibly in one of these blog posts where they were saying they were looking to have the Guardian be a little bit more active. I don't remember where I saw it. But, you know, these are sort of things that they can do, making the creatures more active, making the guardians more active, and making the I mean, food the, environment to act within. Well, I mean, even if you've played beta, like, in the past two months, like, the creatures already do more than they have in alpha before. Like, the... the uh, two the, points. Because a lot well, of the creatures that before, you know, like, okay, hey, look, this cyclops used to be able to, you know, armor all of your creatures within their area of effect. They don't do that anymore. Yeah, but now they summon a huge wall and they they're defensive, and then like yeah, and it, like the thing the bloomers have bloomer. these huge pools, and then they have these abilities now. Which like is it's still a it's nerf really from where cool. Where it was before, because if you remember, the bloomers used to heal everyone within that big bubble area of effect on the map around them passively over yeah. time. You basically yeah. got thirty five health per second when you stood inside of that AOE. But yeah. now it's you stand inside this one pool and you get sixty to ninety health per second. Yeah, which is and they obviously do much more when you're on them and whatnot. So yeah, I'll agree. They're much they're much more active when it comes to how they handle actual, you know, gameplay. Speaking, play. speaking of bloomers, I, I actually overall. yeah. Speaking of bloomers, I actually learned something like recently, like the past week. Like I had I had no idea that the outer pools, like like there's where the bloomer stands. There's a big pool where it is. That pool actually heals less than those outer pools, and that's really interesting like i had no idea and i was like hmm but that's i mean i thought that was pretty cool anyway continue i want to shout out like one specific thing that was in the uh like way forward post and actually like the thing in it's the thing in the list that made me most like this is awesome and i cannot wait for a drop and it's actually not coming in this most recent patch there was a mention of a ui overhaul yeah i want that ui overhaul so badly because like there are so many little things on the UI that need touching up, like the fact that so amusingly, so uh, go, the total flashback, like back to like ca the couple games that have been casted and streamed. So you know how like there was always that thing where like there you know like guardians like during Clash we get down on their like final health bar and it would be like you can't even see their health bar left and yet it survives. Yeah, so the reason for that is that like guardians health bar actually extends behind its portrait by like ten pixels. So, like, the Guardian final, like, segment, segment of its health bar is actually, like, you know, a good, like, 25% larger than it looks. Yeah. And, like, there's little things like that. There's just, like, having an actual UI that looks really good and, like, shows off some of these mechanics and, like, is a little less obtuse would be amazing. And, yeah. I like, and, as a caster, I, mean, I want that so badly. And it's not to say that the UI as it is right now is bad. Because it does, it's good, it works, but like there are obviously things that would be super helpful to have, you know, and so are also obviously very intrusive. One of the things that, you know, with a UI up overhaul and update that I would mm -hmm. like is an overhaul of how the, the upgrade system for your abilities is. Because that is super intrusive, and you basically, unless obviously you are you know, very comfortable with moving around and doing that at the same time, you basically yeah. have to stop everything and upgrade your abilities and then go back into the game. Upgrading abilities just seems so much like a thing where it's like, hold on, stop the gameplay, I need to hit some buttons real quick. I mean, to be <laughs> fair, pa now, Paladins is worse right now. That's yeah. very true. Oh, God. The, <laughs> the upgrading cards on Paladins is just awful because it, it blocks your entire vision, but that's... 
It's well, you, you can't game. you can't move while you're doing it. So like that's the one thing yeah, like Etika, that's, right? Is like that's also true. It's very while upgrading stuff. Yeah. Yeah, like I can just like I can be like running point to point and like still use all my abilities. The but problem it's, like, is that in Gigantic, and this is more of like a caveat to stuff like Dota and League of Legends, where you can upgrade your abilities on the fly. In there, it's oh hey look, I don't have my ultimate now. I do in gigantic. But, it's but, this ability doesn't do something like Zenobia. If for some strange reason you didn't get the snare on her right mouse button right away, and now you're in the middle of a fight, and you can, you can't do that in the middle of a fight. But yeah. See, the the funny thing is that actually in the Xbox version of the game, it is like that. Like you can keep moving. And you can hold down a button and upgrade your abilities with the Xbox. Like it's it's bound to like, I think like B and X. Like PC B... Master Race guys, <laughs> fucking hell, man. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's how it is right now. Um, uh, if Nana Man's here, you can correct me, but I think that's actually how it is. And it's I think it's really funny because it was it's been like that for the long like for the longest time. And I'm just like, why can't we do this on the PC? I mean, you technically can. You just like it's hard to do at the same time because you have to move it's all so mouse much. Controls. Yeah, it's all mouse controlled. Oh my god! Oh man, that makes me so angry because like it's not hard to put in. Yeah, it's just been obviously you guys, uh, you I guys have been working on other things. Uh, one of those other things they were saying, I think it was in the AMA, was stuff like store UIs and and uh, in-game lobby UIs and things like that, meaning that obviously with this upgrade to the progression system, we're going to see a lot of new UI, or at the very least, more interesting UI within the lobby, which honestly is nice to see, because the lobby right now is just a glorified fucking like point-and-click, let-me-get-into-a-game system. That's all it is. It's like how to get into game. There's nothing else there. So, having more to do in the lobby, I mean, it's a very small thing, and from a gaming's perspective, it's like, okay, yeah, you're being petty about that, but I'm also being excited about that, and saying, hey, look, now we have, there's actual purpose to these games other than I'm just playing a game. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I, I see how that's going to look. I, I think, though, I, to kind of get back to the topic at hand, honestly, the AMA was a little bit disappointing. Like, I think there was, like, I, I mean, disappointing is not even the right word because it's not like I had like high expectations for finding new information. But like, really, the AMA was a lot of like people asking questions that they could have already found answers to if they just went off and looked for themselves, yeah. or like do that. Which, uh, to some extent, is a uh, you know an indictment of how hard it is to find some of the information. Like, I I spent all morning trying to figure like so I got in a dispute with somebody about how you pronounce House Orion. And somebody was saying, oh, it's Orion. I was like, no, it's Orion. I'm pretty sure someone from Otiga has said Orion on a stream somewhere. And I spent literally like 45 minutes, myself and one other person spent 45 minutes trying to find the stream where they talked about the five different houses. And like, it's not on their Twitch. Like, you have to go find it on YouTube. It's like, oh, that's why like no one remembers how to do any of these things. It's because it's like buried like 16 rows deep. Yeah. But, I mean, in general, like, the AMA was just a lot of, like, so guys, the game's going poorly, huh? And, like, Routine going, yeah, it's not going super well, sorry about that. Like, that's pretty much everything that happened. Well, and a lot of it also was just, like, a lot of fluff questions. Like, Korn of, you know, putting in these, like, lighthearted questions of, you know, what's your favorite part of the game? Or, you know, what can you say about how you'll be getting the lore to us? Which is nice, it's nice to see, but it's not... 100% topical considering the issues that we've been seeing. Uh, I'm disappointed in you. You f you failed the bull rush challenge that we gave you last week. <laughs> yeah, really? Yeah, I think a lot of the questions were kind of meh. I, I, at best, they were, you know, questions that honestly, like, you know, more about said, could have been acquired if you've just been paying attention or if you've been or, looking for it or if it's just well, been communicated better. Or just they were questions where, like, like, even the questions that, like, could have been interesting, like some of the ones about, like, hey, like, what's the level of control that Microsoft has and, like, all that. Like, you, it was an that interesting was... answer, but, and, like, but like yeah, like, we weren't going to get an answer to that. Like, almost all of the interesting questions, they're, like, we didn't get anything that we didn't really already know if you'd been following the community. Which, I, I think, yeah, like, this is not in service to us. Like, the AMA was not for us. The AMA was for people that don't have to prepare an hour's worth of content every week to talk about the game. 
But here's here's the thing with it though, with that specifically that question that Feculator had put up, you know, wondering, in you know, what does Microsoft have to say, and if and anything and whatnot. Was it, and correct me if I'm wrong, but wasn't that all really answered way back when the Microsoft deal had started, where Chris Jung had did a big post and AMA about it on the Reddit? More sure, less. but like... all of that answered already? Yeah, but how much of the community was still at? Like, how much, like, what percentage of the community that, well, that didn't, like, you either remember, you either remember, East, yeah. you either remember what it was, but like, you know, they invited 40,000 people, like, a month and a half ago, like, or I mean, not a month, it's like three are, months ago now, but like. There are large members of the community nowadays that found out about the game at PAX East, so I mean, that's a fair point to say, you know what, how many people. Or Prime. Nowadays, or Prime. You know, or Gamescom, or E3, or Milan Games Week, or well, Paris Games, like... I'm, I'm speaking specifically to people like, you know, Failco showed up at East. Freaking most of the members at Re of Renegades nowadays found the game at East, you know. Mm -hmm. These these large pillars, of the, uh, that I would say pillars of the community, you know, the people who are around at the very least, you know, all found the game at PAX East, so it's a fair, say, you know, it's a fair thing to say, you know what? How many people did see that? So... Fair point. Point taken. Maybe people didn't know the answer to that question. So maybe we'd have to say, open the wide-angle lens. You know, how many of these people that are asking these questions that to us, like you said, we kind of already know because we've been around and we've been asking questions, but how yep. many of those people have been around? And how many of these people were looking or knew about these que you know, the answers to these questions? And we could say on like a one-on-one -on -one basis, oh, I know this person, they know that question. They were just, you know, asking it for other people, you know? But I think at that point, it's like, that's what you should be doing. Yeah, I mean, like, I don't think the AMA was without use for the general oh, yeah. community. I mean, like, because for every, like, ten people that you see that are active and, like, post questions and whatever, there's, like, thousands of people that, like, just read the AMA, you know. Oh, yeah. And, like, oh, this is new and interesting. It's, like, you know, I, I don't begrudge them for doing it or anything. It's, like, I don't, you know, there's not that much to say. Like, we didn't learn anything interesting. And, like, really, we didn't, like... Even even the major like, hey guys, here's the roadmap. Like, didn't tell us a lot that we didn't already know. Like, some of it is like, I you know, mean, we're we're gonna, oh, guys, we're coming off a new map. Really? So you haven't been working on literally nothing this entire time. Yeah, like we assumed you were doing. So like, there's <laughs> new heroes rude. coming. <laughs> yeah, like there's rude. new heroes coming out. Okay, Fierce. yeah. <laughs> like, savage, savage, you know, savage. Um, that's the word. There. The number the number twenty was bantered around for release heroes like back in April. You you know, probably safe to assume that's still a target, that's, that's, which means yeah. we're due for another three. And that's Some what they've been working on for this whole time. Or, you know, and they've been saying, Oh yeah, we've been working on a lot of the, you know, lobby UI stuff. Okay, yeah, we kind of expected that because you've been talking about a progression system, you've been talking about a store system, people are gonna buy things. Obviously you've been doing that. But again, a lot of that stuff that again you only really get by, you know, putting the pieces together. And while that may be as simple as playing, you know, two plus two equals four it may in some cases be a little bit more complicated saying hey look we're releasing a new map to some people hey we haven't seen the the only map we've seen for forever was canyon and then now we've got Mistforge. oh my god never mind that that was you know the original map for the game or anything um, um definitely sanctum falls thank you sanctum falls i appreciate that canyon didn't get your rename it did, oh, it's though. gonna get renamed. I mean, it, it will. I'm just like considering they've already renamed Mistforge and given the name for the hey, new unreleased map. I don't they're know like, if this was like a, a, I think it was like a me and some other dev in a in a game box conversation and during the beta, one of the devs was saying, "Oh yeah, we're calling it Ghost Reef or something yep. like that." Yeah, yep. I think I've heard Ghost Reef at some That's point. That's on our website. You should go look at it. Anyway, um... oh, it is. I didn't realize that. <laughs> no, it is. It's that that. Um... That that oh, exact yeah, that, that exact the, interview. The interview, the interview between Gabe, James Finney and uh, one of the I guys. wrote that. You wrote I, that. Or I added I edited that one. That's mine. Um, That's me. Shameless yeah, disclaimer. That, is that you know Canyon may eventually become Ghost Reef because it looks like a reef or it's a dried out reef when there's it's a it's a it's there. a dried out ocean reef and the story is that the machinery in it they're extracting the the essence of the ghost for its power for some unknown God damn purpose. Goddammit, how Um. But, you know, stuff like that, you know, and then also the new one. Where did they? They said this. They said there was going to be an, a second map, a, a third map at some point. I can't remember where they said it, but they said that there was going to be a third map and whatever. This means, this means that this, this Mr. Uh, 
this Mr. Data Miner might have actually hit something. You know, we don't know. You never know, yeah. Yeah, I would say, like, Siren gold. Strand, um, you know, one of those Data Mine maps did have a beach-ish thing. Yeah, there was, uh, there was an know. alley that had that beach, but, like, Strand doesn't necessarily mean beach. It could be, like, a, you know, a bottomless chasm sort of a deal. You never know. Well, I mean, yeah. But, How would you fight in a bottomless chasm, Shmoo? No, no, no. There was like halfways <laughs> going over it. Imagine this. Imagine this for me. Bottomless chasm, and the only way to move around are these, you know, pathways between it, going like a spider web's network of, of areas. Okay, I actually kind of want that. <laughs> That's that actually seems but pretty there's, cool. Like, but no ledges on the sides of them. So if you try and jump from one uh, like pathway to another, there's a significant possibility you'll just fall off the map. Yeah. So but, where the but, entire yeah. game is dominated by people who are cliff gaming you. <laughs> <laughs> the cliff game map. <laughs> that's, that's it. That's it. It's cliff game. There's no other name for that map. Um, yeah. But yeah. It's so, it's like. Cool. It, <laughs> hold on. It's it's like MOBAs have an ARAM mode. We have a cliff game mode. <laughs> yeah. I like it. That's exactly like what it, it we is. Need it. We need it. We totally do. Oh, that's great. Harry, you were saying something. I, I I guess just in general, like I I don't know how much like I I feel like you you like, we went off with like oh we have so much to talk about this week I don't actually know how much we have to talk about like I think we're gonna well a you, lot of the information it's it's more of hey kind of new before yeah, it's more of like hey guys <laughs> in January we're gonna have things to talk about when any of this actually releases maybe like assuming it releases in January I mean like we don't have a date for it but like you know or you know decent guesses we're gonna see this early January. Yeah. yeah, and early so early February. In, if they push it all the way to February, I'll be shocked. Like, because I mean, like, 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 like you said, like they were talking about pushing the build to beta like last week. Yeah. Like, you know, there's there's a good chance we're gonna be seeing at least some of this as soon as like after New Year's. So, yeah, but I mean, just in general, I mean, I th I think it's gonna be a slow like six months. Like, we're not gonna probably not gonna see him at Pack South. I feel like we would have heard by now if we were. Yeah. Yeah, I, well, I don't think they will. They There's actually, gonna be. They actually had a question about that. Hold up. Yeah, that was there. That was um, there. They were they're saying... gonna have. There's gonna be a Microsoft. Microsoft will be there, and Microsoft may have Gigantic playing on an Xbox. We don't know, but that might be the case. And if that's true, then I'll I'll give it a whirl. I don't know. I've I've not actually played on the Xbox this, version of the game, but this, why not? Uh, this talks to uh, something we were saying before, which we like actually. Uh, Mojiga's answer was will, to Equinox Fox asking, "Will you be attending PAX South?" The answer was Mojiga's focus right now is all on Gigantic all the time. The 2014 and 2015 events we attended were unbelievably fun and some of the most fun I've ever had as a community manager in the industry. But now is the time for Motiga to pour all our love and energy into Gigantic development. Thank fucking God. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Oh, there it is. Yep. Uh, so there's always a chance that we'll show up to an event with our Microsoft pals or even show off Gigantic in one of our peripheral partners' booth. But we're not planning to attend events until the Gigantic is meeting... That's a very interesting way he worded that, too. I'm reading this yeah. item. To attending events until events the until Gigantic is meeting the expectations of our team and our testers. Thank you, Troy, for your <laughs> lovely wordsmithing skills there. Appreciate that. But, yeah, no, we're probably not going to see him at PAX South. We're probably not going to see him at PAX East. We're probably no, not see don't say that. No, Prime. no, I want them to be at East. You want them to be at East so that way you can go to East. Yeah, I want to go to East. I mean, I'm going to, I'm going to East anyway. Do you so. have extra tickets? No. Uh, <laughs> I, I would have gotten spared if it weren't for the fact that they're way more expensive than the ones for South. I was to say, aren't, are, are PAX East tickets even on sale right now? Nope. Yeah, they were. No, PAX East tickets went on sale like a month ago. Yeah, but they're not. They're, 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 they're gone, gone now. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh, really? Yeah, oh they're already God. gone. That's PAX East for you, baby. Which is, which is interesting because they pushed the dates for it out, which is actually like the one thing, one reason I'm like slightly hopeful that we're going to see. A second. Uh, we're gonna no. I think we're gonna see. We, there's a chance we see gigantic there because Maybe. it's late, late April instead of because like last year it was like a month after Pack South. If Whereas yes. like this yeah. year it's like two and a half months after Pack South. Yeah. If you yep. see them really pushing a large number of really good updates and the game gets really good really quick, maybe. I'm not expecting to see <laughs> well, them at an event I mean, until Pax Prime. You you say the game gets really good really quickly. I mean like really all we need is for them to roll out 
roll back in all the systems that they had when they showed it at PAX East last year, well, which is here's, here's the roll in the party what systems. Happens, you know, when they do roll in the party systems, yes, it's going to be part of the Xbox Live Arcade systems. But what if the interface starts breaking because it wasn't oh, coded well? Sure, enough? but like if we're talking about like party systems come in as soon as mid January, getting them polished by April is like not out of consideration. Yeah, that that shouldn't yeah. take that long. Like, I mean. Pfft. Well, and we're not talking about, like, perfect production ready. We're talking, yeah, like, the party just, system works, like, 90% just, of the time. Just there. Like, it just needs to be there, you know? I mean, we've been, at, we've been at these other shows before, and we, but, like, these other party systems weren't even... They weren't even integral because it was... You 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 verse the people across from you, so like well, I don't know why that's even an issue. Well, the issue really the is. issue is that people get invited afterwards, and they w have the expectation that they will have the same experience playing it online that they did playing it on the floor. That's and if true. they don't get that experience where they can sit down with five of their friends, play a game with five people across from them, then they are disappointed, which is something we've seen time and time again. And I think that's you know, that's what they ultimately have to deliver on, and why I don't think we're going to see anything out of Gigantic yeah. until we have all those systems back in. And, it's, it's and it true. also goes in, of course, to what you know Troy definitely said, which is until Gigantic starts performing well, you know, until it it meets all the expectations that they have for the game, that they are comfortable with saying, you know, what we're going to go to an event and we're going to show off where we're at now, they're not going to go to an event. So I doubt that they're going to see him at Paxis because of that, because you know. Honestly, at this stage of the game, they should be very discerning over to where they are when it comes to the game. They shouldn't be just saying, hey, look, you know what, this is good enough, let's go to an event. No. Go to an event when you're ready, when you have a near-finished product for it. Show us at I can dig it. Show us at Prime. Show, to, show it to us at Prime. Yeah, the one, I mean, one interesting thing, and this is a little bit off of the topic of what's been going on, but... You know, just kind of as a continue, continual, the clock is ticking. You know, I know, like, we like to say... Oh, we don't have to worry about Battle War and Paladins, Overwatch. You know, that's not a big problem. It, you kind of do. Well, I mean, you kind of do in an abstract sense. But then also, the issue is it's not just them. Because now that we're looking at a 2016 release date, we've got Paragon now. Paragon. And we got Lawbreaker. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if we saw Lawbreakers in at least super early beta at PAX South. As yeah. soon as PAX South. So, okay, so now we're stacking up even more games that are all going to enter this field in 2016. Like, when Gigantic was talking about coming out in 2015, it was like, okay, we don't have to be worried because we have a privacy effect. We're going to be the first, like, if they had released, like, with Windows 10, or even, like, when Windows 10 was originally supposed to release, like, you know, September, October, they would have beaten the betas for Paladins, they would have beaten the beta for Overwatch, and they would have beaten their release date by months to, like, half a year. However, Honestly, now we're looking at you're trying to release a game after Paladins and Overwatch and Battleborn all release during probably the open beta for Paragon and Lawbreaker. Like, now that's a tight field. Yeah, it's a, I would say it's a tight field, but one of the things that I would note, though, is I personally would discount Battleborn just because there are a lot of people that are like, I'm not paying 60 bucks for a game that is essentially a free-to-play game. And oh, while sure. I wouldn't discount Overwatch for the same reason, because it's not the same situation, you know, we could almost say there are going to be a lot of people that aren't going to play those games for those reasons, that are going to look for stuff like, you know, Paladins and stuff like Gigantic, and we could say, hey, look, Gigantic is a better game than Paladins, we could say that, but until we release it to the general public in the same way they have, it's hard to put that. So, mm -hmm. I'll, I'll agree and disagree at the same time, saying, I'll agree. If they release it right now, because of the, the problems that they have, they're going to have to compete with stuff like Paladins. They're going to have to compete with stuff in the future with, like, Paragon. They're going to have to do it. And it is going to be a tighter field. But well, there are going to be reasons why people are going to choose Gigantic over those that are separate simply just from, you know, how the game plays. Yeah, well, sure. I th there's a lot of people in this game right now that are extremely loyal. Like... Right now, yeah. like the, yeah, they're they're. <laughs> I I've had late night I've had late night uh, discussions with Samurai Ed on this exact thing, like with a with with a lot of people actually. Like, they love this game. They don't exactly agree with how the company is exactly doing the what they're doing right now, but like they think the game is fun. They don't find any other game right now challenging. 
So or it's like as fun. Yeah, or as fun, and it's like you know, I I feel like there are going to be a lot of people that stick around for that specific reason. Yeah. Why? Just why? Like, uh, my I number one worry, though, is I I was I was okay with this, and I felt like we were going to be like Gigantic was going to be fine, and then Paladins. Yeah, Paladins throws a monkey wrench into it. Like Paladins is is being much more well received than I was expecting for higher res. Paladins already has a hundred thousand dollar tournament in the books for next year. But that's high res pushing things too early, being totally honest. Oh, whether or not it's going to work out, sure. But like the, the fact that it's of, happening. The fact that it's happening and the fact that it is 100% pulling people away from Gigantic right now. Like, the fact that, pa like, Paladins is showing up on the scene as Gigantic is kind of fading into the shadows again means that we're, even more than, like, what they expected, we're gonna have to, like, we're gonna see Gigantic having to rebuild all of its community to some extent. Like, it's, it's not gonna be, you know, Gigantic comes out with all of its big fancy features in, like, a month and a half, and everyone jumps back on the bandwagon. Like, it's gonna have to win back some people onto the bandwagon who have moved on to something else. That's yeah. a fair point. That because fair Gigantic point. was weak when it needed to be strong. And that really all just kind of goes to say that while a lot of these changes and a lot of these updates are nice to see coming, it's going to be a very tough road for Motika going ahead. And while I feel they like they love, absolutely love that they've come out and said, you know what, these are the issues we have, and this is what we've got in the works for you guys, we, it's really going to be a point of, show us what you got. We're going to see what's going on, and we'll see how, the, you know, how everything develops. But... It's in Motiga's court right now. They can't drop the ball. Yeah, and I feel like they're completely aware of that, just because of how like how serious this actually sounds when you like read over it again. Like, they know that they they know that they probably messed like they know that they messed up and they know that they, they had, had to issues. push back a lot of stuff and had issues. And I I really think that they're gonna like I I really think they're gonna go at it and like they're gonna push for something more than what we expected yeah i i I, yeah. I really i really hope that that's the case because you know well, like I mean, like you've been you have to hope I, well i mean like <laughs> like norbot's been saying though like there's a lot of these new games that are coming out and like they are going to make a showcase like they're going to be there and gigantic will have to come back in and just be like hey by the way we were here first <laughs> like you know <laughs> <laughs> well, and I think what it does is it puts more pressure on Gigantic to be a transformative game instead of an iterative one. Because yeah. what we're seeing from all of these is, you know, Paladin says, hey guys, we made TF2 and then added Hearthstone onto it. And yeah. like Overwatch is, hey guys, we made TF2, except it's not like seven years old. And, you know, a Pal or Paragons, Par basically, we took a traditional MOBA and made it 3D. Pa Par Paragons is, we made Smite, except not by high res and the graphics look good. Or Wait. Actually, we, we we made smite. The graphics yeah. are better. It's not by high res, and we actually have a third axis of movement. Yeah, and then you know, and like they're they're all iterative games, but they all look really good. Like you know, they all look good in their own individual way. Like Overwatch, pretty solid graphics, looks really good. Paragon, the little bit we see of it, like it, like it's on par with like some of the most beautiful games, like. They're out right now. If you know, if the trailers live up to real life, like it's a goddamn beautiful game. And so, like, this is some serious competition. It means really all of those games individually beat Gigantic on iteration. Like they're all this better. Is actually, in... exactly quoting from the 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 road ahead for Gigantic post under the guiding vision. We are not reimagining the last big thing. We are striving to build the next big thing, which is what they have to do. Just exactly yeah. as you're saying. Well, they and have to be yeah. a transformative concept. And they have to do it, but that's hard. Like, you can't just sit down and be like, guys, we're inventing a new genre now. <laughs> like, well, I mean, you, you know, it, like, but... MOBAs, MOBAs are big right now because MOBAs were the last major new genre that was invented in, like, the last two decades of gaming. But that's the thing is though that Gigantic was that kind of game at the time, and now there are other titles that are coming out and doing the same thing. I, I Gigantic's don't think that. gonna have to come back in 
I don't think like, that they like are you doing said. the same things, being totally honest, because they're not. Like, like Perry's been saying, you know, Paladins is basically TF2 with cards in it. We've got Paragon, which is basically Smite, but with more movement and a nicer graphic set. We've got Overwatch, which is basically TF2, except it's made by Blizzard. You know, it's these different things. But Gigantic is... You could almost say it's... We took TF2 and smashed some awesome, you know, MOBA slash MMO PvP style stuff into it. You know, right now I feel like it is a little bit like, it, you know, like a, a reiteration or more of a, a new iteration on an old idea, but it's transformative enough to make its own state, or to make its own statement. And well, I, th I think what it has to do is, like, because the, the thing, the, re the pitfall that we're falling into right now, and the reason people are dissatisfied is that Gigantic right now, like, especially on Canyon, plays like Team Deathmatch. Like, yeah. Gigantic on Canyon plays like TF2, which is... Like, makes it a good... Which was good when it was the only thing that played like TF2, and is bad now that it is not the only thing that plays like exactly. TF2. So, and so what you need is, like, what we need to do is actually have, like, Guardian pushes be interesting, and, like, the power management system be fun, and, like, the characters be see, dynamic. We may see a lot of those changes coming with this new stuff, yep. with their saying, a new power generation system. You know, I remember some were saying that, giant, you know, Guardians are going to be a little bit more active. So, you know, they have yep. the capacity. They know they have to do it. They have to make this game feel different. They have to make it play different. And so it's going to be, again, to that overarching statement, it's in their court. They've got to not drop the ball. And that, yeah. I think, is where we're going to go ahead and set up the end of our showdown today. We are at that one hour point. A lot of really good points that were made here today, a lot of really great discussion. You know, even though a lot of what we saw what, from Motiga this week was stuff we may have already known, it highlights a lot of the same issues that we were seeing before, and it, at the very least points, points to the fact that they've recognized them and are willing to move into that. But I'd yep. like to thank absolutely everybody for coming on out. I feel like this was a little bit of a, a less than visible show than we usually have, but that may or may not have been because nobody on the gigantic Reddit wanted to go ahead and approve my post for posting because the spam bot is a giant troll. Uh, well, it's not just that. I mean, it might be because people aren't in town. You know yeah, that too. With yeah, the, with the you know Christmas, Christmas and in six days. Yay! Speaking into that, since obviously next week is going to be the day after Christmas for us, uh, Noirbot's not going to be here. Me and Wolfie were thinking we were going to go ahead and do just a nice little bonus holiday stream of us just playing games together. You know, having a nice chill stream, you know, thanking everybody for being with us for this, what is about a quarter year gone by now of us doing 13 shows overall, or 12 shows of 13 weeks that we've been doing overall. And honestly, thank you guys so much for coming on by. Is there anything else you guys wanted to say? Uh, we will probably look into over the course of the next couple weeks about getting an email address and maybe a Twitter set up for the show. Yes. Uh, yeah, we'll specifically get... the show, so people can come in and put their feedback and be like, yeah. "Hey, I think that you guys should like consider blah blah blah." You know, like, or you know, hey, you got and... this, that, or the other thing wrong because you know we do that all the time. <laughs> yeah, and also yeah. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be putting together like a vault of more or less of things like you know if if you guys like have ideas of things that we should talk about like you can send them to that email or tweet at us like individually and like I'll put it in and be like. Hey, maybe we should consider talking about this. Like, you know, I think so that would be a cool idea. We have idea. a large vault of topics, so please go ahead and send those in. Once we'll go ahead and put up an announcement on the GGU Twitter, saying, "Hey, look at this new Twitter we've got." Uh, with the next post for Bull Rush up onto the Guardian, uh, up onto the Gigantic uh, Reddit, we'll go ahead and say, "Hey, look, you can send your suggestions here." And that's really gonna be about it for us. Uh, follow us, obviously, at our Twitters up above, at Schmugledorf, at Noirbot, and at Wolfman. If you want, you know, our random tweets, I don't tweet, so there's really not much that you're going to get. I tweet. That. Wolfman tweets all the time. I haven't I seen literally... anything from Noirbot ever. I, I share <laughs> weird stuff and gaming and yeah, political news. Yeah, you a lot, is what I see a lot from yeah. you. Um, but also go ahead and follow us at, at GoGigantic or GG underscore Unleashed. Uh, at Twitter, so that way you can get some up-to-date information as to when we go live, as well as to also get some really great, gigantic discussion and other information from our organization. Uh, if you did miss this show, you can always, or if you wanted to watch it again, because you're just that awesome. You if you miss, <laughs> if you miss this show, but are currently listening to it, <laughs> shut up! I don't, I don't know what you're I doing. Don't even, get on this. I don't know what's life. happening. Hold on.
Get off my screen. There we go. Um, <laughs> just off my screen now. Uh, but if you did miss the show uh, or you wanted to watch it again, you, it's all of our shows are on YouTube. You could do that for all future shows. Uh, Norbert, you can come back on the screen now. Um, but <laughs> <laughs> he actually turned you off. <laughs> Okay, bye. Bye, uh, but, we're good. <laughs> yeah, we're good. We're good. We're done. You actually missed the start. Don't worry. I will be highlighting it and then uploading it to YouTube very shortly. So you can go ahead and check that at, again, GG Unleashed. That is YouTube.com slash GG Unleashed. You're getting really close to your camera there. <laughs> no, I'm, uh, I'm very scared right now. He's like, please, he's like, please sir, may I have some more? Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. And as is... always... Wolfie will be laughing up a goddamn storm. No, we will see you next time. <laughs>